What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to the next video here in War Robots with massive news. We have three new weapons and one new robot that I can announce to you guys, and you'll get the gameplay for those things tomorrow, okay? Um, so let me, without further ado, go right into the news and tell you what this is all about. We have three weapons. They're called uh, Cudgel, or Cudgel, uh, Hammer, and mace, okay? So yeah, basically those are shotguns that explode on impact with an area effect damage. The new robot you'll see in a second. Um, basically what they are, fast firing shotguns whose projectiles explode on, co uh, explode on contact, dealing area damage. Each hit accumulates a blast effect on the enemy similar to incinerator, scourger and scout. And then we have the uh, description weapon type rocket, although it's a shotgun. A damage with all pellets, light version 2200 on level 8 I think, uh, medium version 3300 and heavy version 4400. Range is 500 as all the shotguns t typically have and the number of pellets is 4, 6 and 8 depending on what weapon size. Light is 4, heavy is 8, medium is 6 and uh, area effect range is, eight, uh, is 10 meters. So that was what they look like, okay? Now, the new robots, ladies and gents, what do we have here? Um, we have something like this. Remember that from Star, Tra uh, Star Wars, ladies and gentlemen? That is a dru druidica. And these things, they roll up to you, unfold, and then they have their weapons, and they have a shield protecting them. And I'm pretty sure Pixonic took this as an example or as inspiration because the new robot it's called Skyros. And although Sky is in the name, it has nothing to do with sky or flying. It is exactly what you see on screen here with the Druidica. Okay, let's go for it. Alright, come on. Boom, there it is. That's when it rolls up and then it rolls towards you. Uh, by the way, the weapons will be gone, right? The weapons will be gone when he is in the ball. That's just an early concept right here. And then when it unfolds, boots, there it is. And also it gets a shield on top. All right, so it moves fast as a ball, it unfolds, has its weapons and a shield. You wanna see a little video that I've got provided? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, get yourselves ready for the first impression of the new Skyros robot. All right, here we go. Okay, here he comes, it's walking, it's walking, and it can fire. Also, very interesting, uh, dang it, before, before, ugh. Okay, uh, very interesting also to note, next to the Golem robot, this is the only robot that has one light, one heavy, and one medium weapon, from what I gather. Oh, wait a minute. Is there another? Mercury has two light, one heavy. No, I think it's the only ro robot aside from Golem with one heavy, one light, and one medium weapon, right? So you can utilize all those typical uh, weapons. And then here it runs, it can fire this way and has an Aegis shield, and then it rolls up into a ball. Remember, the animations are not cor cor uh, finished yet, also during the test server, but it's really fast and armored during the ball phase. Uh, I spit all out of excite excitement here. And, and then it unfolds and has the shield. Let me give you the, uh, the description. It says, it's an innovative development by Icarus Technologies, engineers, a, a, engineers, a well-protected saboteur robot capable of transforming into a ball for acceleration. It can either walk on four legs uh, or shoot, uh, or shoot, or roll into an almost impenetrable ball uh, of armor to tumble about the battleship with increased speed. In walking mode, Skyros is protected by an Aegis shield, which follows the robot's outline. Uh, so it's very small, basically like the Typhon robot is what I understand from this. Uh, when curling into a ball, Skyros gets a ton of defense points. It'll be a tough nut to crack either way. Um, and uh, ability, uh, Emerge is the ability called. The robot switches between two modes. It's basically like, like a shape-shifting robot. In attack mode, weapons and an improved Aegis sh energy shield are active. What does improved mean? I don't know. Um, in high speed mode, the robot activates its defense system, transforms into a ball and speeds up. Uh, Aegis, a special energy shield that is impenetrable by any type of weapon. The improved version has a more streamlined shape. Ooh. 
Interesting. What does that mean? I feel like maybe it is what the Typhon robot has, that tiny little bubble around it instead of the large one. So you cannot protect allies with the shield. You only have it for yourselves, uh, but it's still going to be protecting you from every uh, damage, including area blast effects, for example, from the Arthur Shockwave. Remember, the Typhon cannot take damage from that when the shield is up, even though you're in the zone. That's probably what they mean with an improved version. Damage reduction is 90%. In the ball phase. Oof, I don't know, man. I don't know if 90% is the right choice to go for with 900 defense points. I don't know. Uh, to me, it sounds like crazy, man. You, you could capture beacons with 90% resistance and roll around like impenetrable and basically Im immune to damage, right? Uh, this, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't think 90% is the right number to go for here, but hey, I'm just giving you the news. Uh, remember, uh, recommended equipment, hammer, mace, and cut go. Well, there you know it. Um, the known bugs are the weapons remain uh, on the ball. Later they will disappear when it falls into the ball. Uh, Aegis should restore only in ball mode. It restores slowly in spider mode now. But later it should only restore the Aegis shield when you're in the ball mode. Very interesting indeed. Um, let's have one very quick match right here. Uh, and uh, think about it a little bit. New shotguns. I mean, shotguns have always been, uh, or have not always been in the game, but are in the game for a couple of years now. But they have really become pr quite weak. Only very, very short amount of firepower in the magazine, which, by the way, is something I don't like. They used to be the best weapons, and then they got nerfed and nerfed and nerfed, and now they basically have no more ammo in the capacity. Like, they, they fire five shots, for, feels like five shots, and then they're empty for the next ten minutes. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's really not exactly um, fair that these weapons that used to be really good are now kind of so weak. Uh, and then new shotguns come in that are probably way better again. Um, I think these, generally the shotguns, should get a higher magazine. We have so many powerful weapons nowadays that even have high range. Uh, so the shotguns should really perform exceptionally well at that short range, I think. See if we can help out. Oh, our dude is already giving, giving these guys a hard time right there with the Orochi. I'm coming in to help him. And we have a nice boom, boom, boom. Down to last stand with him immediately. Then finishing him off, maybe I can, hopefully. Boom. Yep, there we go. Nice job with the Orochi here. This one Orochi of ours stopped two Orochis from the enemy. Pretty good job there, buddy. And that new Skyros robot, uh, it's, I, I don't know, man, this thing looks insane. Uh, but the 90% resistance getting me super worried, guys. Uh, by the way, you're gonna get that gameplay tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, Consider subscribing now, ladies and gentlemen, would be awesome uh, if you get yourself notified for when the video comes up tomorrow. You can see the first uh, hands-on gameplay immediately. We have a hawk coming my way. I'm sneaking up on this guy, but there comes the hockey boy. Oh, thanks targeting system. Oh, now I'm suppressed. Perfect. Okay. Here we go, doing some nice damage to this guy. The hawk landed behind me, probably capturing back my beacon. Okay, let's walk out of this. Yep, the hawk did get my beacon back. Boom, boom. Oh, come on. He's gonna get into another flight soon. Okay, I got him before he got the flight. I hit this guy with a nice airstrike here. Taking him down as fast as I can. Come on, one more shot. Nice. Okay. Let's walk out of that. Oh, we have another dude shooting into my sight the whole time. The whole time there's a guy shooting into my flank. Unbelievable. And I'm suppressed. For such a long time am I suppressed. Oh, God. Uh, can I get the beacon, I wonder. He is still standing there shooting into my flank with his Fenrir the entire time. How insanely annoying this guy is. <laughs> Holy smokes, man. Okay. Oh, I'm suppressed. No, I'm not gonna be suppressed. Forget that. Okay. Ah! Yes, I got him. Living legend. <laughs> I'm trying to capture the beacon, but uh, it's not gonna work. And uh, yeah, this one guy stood there the entire five, three minutes and fired into my flank, dude. Unreal. All right, let's go into the Heimdall. 
Uh, video is in the top right corner if you haven't yet seen the max gameplay of the Heindal robot. Let's do something here. I'm going into attack mode now. Boom, going for him. Suppressing that guy at range. There comes an enemy titan. I have my my thing ready. I'm getting hit in an airstrike on the enemy Arthur so that he drops as fast as we can. Yep. Heimdall laser got the kill. Nice. Then let's start to hammer away at this guy as well. Fill up the uh, the the thing. Okay, let's airstrike the enemy Nodens. Okay, I have to get in cover. And we have an we have an Arthur on our side too. Very cool. He hasn't yet used his reflector. He's just not using his reflector. I don't understand. Airstrike on the Nodens again. Now his reflector is out. Okay. Let's make him blind so he can't fire at us anymore. So he's jumping away, then his reflector goes down. Okay, and boom. Third airstrike on the Nodens. Boom. Let's start repairing, not just ourselves, but also the buddy next to us. Very nice. There's an enemy Hawk. I'm gonna activate my physical shield now. Gonna protect that. Wait a minute, my physical shield is gone? That's weird. Hold on a second. What's hitting me so hard? Dude, what? Oh, okay. Okay, that was an, a, a Nodens uh, Aminos next to us with um, with the high... Uh, with, with these area effect weapons. I didn't see that guy. Okay, max firepower activated here. Obviously, the first thing that I will aim down on is the Nodens. It's the thing that really needs to get destroyed. Nice. Nodens is gone. Now we can take care of the other things in the game uh, without having somebody heal up the enemy titans. We have three beacons under control. That's the amount of beacons we need. There is, however, an enemy nightingale flying in. Not going to have him get that beacon here. Not going to happen, buddy. Okay. You're landing. Wow, I did not expect that landing. I really didn't expect that landing from him. He just ruined my entire robot here. He just ruined my entire robot, dude. It, look, what, look what he did to my robot, man, with this one <laughs> my nightingale. He ruined me entirely, man. Wow. All right, airstrike on whatever this is. He's slightly out of range. Okay, he should be going down any second now. Yep, there we go. Uh, this is a tough battle. There's some pretty strong players here inside the match. Um, I lost that Heimdall so fast. I had that 100% full Heimdall. And I looked at the at the thing, and five seconds later, I was destroyed, man. I I, I just lo I lost an entire Heimdall in like five seconds. Oh no! I wanted to stay up there. Well, yeah. So tell me, ladies and gentlemen, in the comments, what you think about the um, yeah, about the new robot that is being introduced tomorrow on the test server. I'm pretty sure 90% resistance is a mistake. Okay, so the enemies seem to be mecking out. I wish I would have been able to live longer with that Heimdall, but uh, oh well. Let's land on the uh, on the uh, the thing here. Aha! Exactly what I wanted. Nice. I wanted to be able to fire once they spawn in their beacons. All right, boom. That's it. Ninety-nine percent battleship support. Dang it! <laughs> I could have used that at the end. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of this video. 
Uh, yeah, stay tuned on what's coming tomorrow on the test server. That's going to be very crazy. Uh, my my early feedback to Pixonic, 90 persistent on the ball is not going to make it. It's not going to cut it. Forget it. You cannot allow a, a ball of 90% resistance to roll around, around the battlefield, uh, roll around the battlefield very fast, capture beacons, and be pretty much immune for as long as he chooses to, uh, or wait out every enemy's robot ability in the ball, ball uh, and then finally unfold three weapons and kill the enemy. Um, and be so fast that you can enforce that combat on anybody because you're so fast with the ball that you, nobody can avoid your your combat if you choose, choose to engage, right? Uh, so... Uh, I, I see plenty of problems with those 90%. I think 70% tops. There cannot be any more than 70%. It's just my early feedback, right? But we'll see, we're going to see more about this tomorrow. Thank you guys and gals for watching. See you around tomorrow and have a good one. Bye-bye.